Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. I am very grateful to Minister José Antonio Villaregallo for his address, and I would like to underline the crucial contribution which Algeria has made in the past to Chile's fight against dictatorship. Having made that point, I have one question and three recommendations. First of all, my question. The national report does not go sufficiently into the question of protecting the freedom of religion and belief in Chilean legislation. The minister has indicated in his address that a law on religion has been adopted. That being the case, does it include provisions to guarantee the protection of persons against stereotyping or discrimination based on their religion or belief? Secondly, we welcome the achievements of the Chilean government in respect of poverty alleviation and reduction. However, in his visit to Chile, the Special Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms of Indigenous Peoples did note that the majority of Indigenous Peoples live in a rather difficult situation of poverty. Our recommendation is, therefore, that Chile give particular attention to the Indigenous Peoples of that country when they implement their poverty reduction and poverty alleviation program. We would also urge them to get rid of any discriminatory measures applied to them. Next, paragraph 33 of the compilation indicates that the unemployment rate is higher for women and men in, than men in Chile. Our second recommendation is, therefore, that Chile take effective measures to eliminate the many obstacles that prevent women coming onto the labour market. We also urge that they include in their legislation the principle of equal pay for equal work. At the same time, we urge that that principle be scrupulously observed by employers. Lastly, in 2007, the Committee on the Rights of the Child mentioned de facto discrimination against indigenous children, refugees, and those living in poverty, particularly in respect of access to education and health. We urge the government, therefore, to guarantee effective access to education for all children especially those from indigenous communities, refugee children, and children whose families live in rural areas and or below the poverty line. We also suggest that effective measures be taken to fight against the factors behind their exclusion from the educational system. Thank you.